Good morning, fellow aviapreneurs. Welcome to a new episode of Aviapreneurs from eBase. This is the second day of eBase, and most of the visitors are arriving today, and it's going to be a very busy day. Today, I have with me a friend and colleague, Captain Nabil Ahmed from the UK. He's the accountable manager and the CEO of Move Aircraft Services. Flight Solutions. Flight, Move Aircraft Flight Solutions. Uh, a specialist in aircraft ferry services based on Malta. Good morning, Captain Fabi. Good morning, Adnan. How are you doing? Thank you for joining me today. No problem. So, so how was eBase yesterday with you? Uh, it was an excellent show, a great start after a long absence. And um, yeah, we've, we've had a great experience as Move. Uh, you, told, you just told me that you already have confirmed deals. Yes, we do. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, so a great start to the show and hopefully that progresses through the day today. Captain Nabil is a pilot himself, and he's, uh, he has a type rating of Boeing 737 and the 777. Correct. So, Captain Nabil, how did you get into the aircraft move and ferrying services? Well, a funny story, actually. I moved back from uh, Canada, having lived there for quite a few years, um, and I was asked to ferry a 737 from Africa into Europe, and the ferry didn't go so well. So I thought, I know this process. I can do this a lot better, and I did. And for about six years, I did ferrying uh, uh, services for a number of leasing companies. Um, after which point, um, I actually ran a part 145 organization in Europe. Um, and then during the pandemic, I refocused onto uh, ferrying aircraft, and that's how MOVE was initially born. And do you ferry all type of airplanes? Absolutely all types. All our crews are standardized to and trained to our flight operations manual. And in fact, the way we do things is quite different. I'm sure we'll, we'll yes, talk about Yes, definitely. That. So how, how, are, how are you different from other aircraft ferry services? I'm sure there are plenty of aircraft ser service, ferry services in Ireland, in the US, and in other parts of the world. How, how is MOVE different from them? Well, the way in which we work, first of all, our organization is led by pilots. I'm a pilot, my senior management from the flight operations team are all pilots, so we have real core experience. Um, the other thing is we have our own flight operations manual, which is being reviewed uh, and approved by various NAAs, including Bermuda, um, and we train our pilots, we standardize them to our operation. It's, we, they wear our uniforms, they do our training, and then they're allowed to fly for us. It's not a case of pairing two random pilots up uh, and letting them fly randomly uh, like some of the other companies do, which we believe is an unsafe practice. So you think that then aircraft ferry service is a very niche area and required very specialized knowledge and experience. Absolutely. It's not something that any pilot can do it. No, we've heard a lot of stories recently, particularly during COVID times, of inexperienced pilots going to places like Asia and uh, flying in complex airspace like China, where we're using meters instead of feet, for example, um, and they've never flown outside of the States. And here they are thrown into ferrying an aircraft that is on a special flight permit, so may have abnormal flight activities to, to perform uh, during flight, uh, expected to fly an aircraft in airspace they're completely unfamiliar with. So we look at the core experience of the uh, individual as well as their experience worldwide before we allow them into our very select pool. Very interesting. So uh, why did you choose Malta as, as a base for incorporating and setting up MOVE? Mal what? Yeah, Malta has a wonderful aviation community. Um, it's very small and in its own right, it's uh, very um, easy to access other business owners within various services uh, and also access to uh, the civil aviation director and, and people beyond him is just phenomenal. You cannot get that anywhere else in the world and um, it's, it's a real advantage being in Europe and also having the ability to have that level of access with wonderful business owners and um, you know the Transport Malta's civil aviation directorates himself and his team. It's very easy access, so it was an easy choice for us. Yeah, definitely. I had the opportunity to um, meet before Captain Charles from Transport Malta, and it was, uh, yes, definitely they work in a very business-friendly yeah. mindset compared to other civil aviation authorities. So, Captain Nabil, you're a pilot, and now you move to be 
a business founder and business owner. Yes. How business are the how different are these two skills from each other? Not every pilot can be a business owner. Uh, yeah. How how did you complete the skills necessary for establishing and growing a business? Well, truly spoken like a pilot, I winged it in the beginning and you know, I learned a lot of lessons along the way uh, over the past seven or eight years of me not flying. I've been able to hone my business skills further. Um, this has involved taking courses like Six Sigma, um, as well as learning from um, more experienced business people around me who I've had the very good fortune of mentoring me through aviation in various fields such as maintenance um, and even flight operations. So uh, real good rounded knowledge from people around me with very good uh, experiences. Brilliant, the way brilliant. What advice do you give the other pilots and uh, aviation professionals who want to move from being technical experts in their fields to be business founders and managers? What do you recommend them to do to achieve the success they want Absolutely. in the aviation business? Have an open mind, be, op uh, be open, be communicative. It's all the skills you learn in the flight deck, um, but to apply it on an outside of the flight deck environment. So um, just apply what you already know outside, but be prepared to learn as well, because it's not the same as being in command of an aircraft and having all the information being brought in. It's a lot about taking your information and taking that out as well. You know? So being open-minded is very important skill yes. in launching and growing a successful aviation business. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. you, Captain Nabil. It's Thank a great pleasure to meet you and to know you here in eBase and I look forward to cooperating with you in the future and I wish you all the best and all the move team. Thank you very much Adnan. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for your aviapreneurs. I look forward to seeing you again with another very successful aviapreneur here in eBase. Have a great day. Thank you.